What is up everyone? Well, you already know who it is. So I get uh, the question asked a lot. Garrett, why do you guys buy so much Bobcat? Why don't you buy Cat? Why don't you buy Gale? You know, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Well, there's a really simple answer. When we first started, you know, bought our first truck. And our second truck, and our fifth truck, and our tenth truck, and our fifteenth truck, and our twentieth truck. I didn't want, for me, like, like pickup trucks are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. They're not hard to find. They're cheap. So why get a big mixed array of colors? Why get, a, why get a mismatch? Why have a mismatch fleet? In my opinion, if you have 20 trucks and every single one is a different color, this looks kind of hideous. You got five, six of them on a job site. Like, no one knows you for color. No one, you know, they might, you might notice your little logo. But in my opinion, it just kind of looks like a mobile junkyard. Again, that's just my opinion. Everyone has a different opinion. You do you. I'll do me. So anyway, we uh, we knew right from the get go we were gonna have a lot more than one or two. So we wanted we want them to all look symmetrical. So when they're all in a line or when they're all on the job site, they, they all look the same. And then not only that, but it's easiest to, easiest to maintain. And, you, know, you know, if you stock air filters or fuel filters, all the oil is the same, all the hydraulic oil is the same. So for me, it just makes the most sense. If you're gonna have 10, 20, 30, 100 skid loaders, might as well all be the same, or you know, half and half or whatever. It is good to be diversified, but there's so many, there's a lot of different dealers around, so you can always jump from dealer to dealer, dealer if you have to which really you shouldn't, you know, find a good one, build a relationship with it. Anyway, here is our newest addition to the fleet. We recently picked up this T770. So this thing is uh, it's brand new. It's a 2021, I think, not sure. Using it a little bit around the yard here. Every time we get a skid, we always get multi-bar tracks, side lights, and a strobe um, on every one. In my opinion, it's a necessity to have multi-bars if you're going over turf. They clean out way better. They're way smoother on the operator. It's, it, you can't really, you can't plow with C pattern, you can plow great with these. So we always get C pattern, side lights and strobes, you gotta be able to see, it's pretty cheap. You can see out the sides a lot safer, people can see you better, your, your employees can see better. Because it's cheap and it makes a big difference. So in my eyes, it's a no-brainer. Gotta have a strobe of course, Visibility is key, it's cheap. You're better off just getting it hardwired in when you first get the machine than trying to rinky-dink something, you know, cross some wires and blow some fuses and try to do it yourself. So better off just have them do it. The guys that know how to do it, they do it every day. Pretty crisp like they always are. So, pretty sharp. So anyway, basically what it boils down to is the first skid loader we bought was Bobcat and that was because that's what I was most familiar with. Um, we have a good dealer close by and we know them really well. We have a good relationship with them. So I tell them, I would call up, hey Dan, I need this. I need a 770, I need a 66. Whatever, whatever it is, he takes care of us. So it's been good. I don't foresee us for switching anytime in the near future. If we did, it'd be everything. We wouldn't just buy one or two. We would more than likely get rid of them all and get all if we were to ever go to another brand. If we were, it'd probably be Cat. Um, but like I said, I don't foresee that anytime soon. Same with like trucks. The first truck I bought was a white Chevy. Uh, I've always been a Chevy guy, so once we bought one, naturally the next one had to match. So the next, I don't even know how many we have anymore. Quite a few. But the next, however many, um, all had to be Chevy. So, so that's that. That's kind of. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. I like to be loyal, I like to find something that's good, that works, and just stick with it. For me, there's no reason to really jump around. You find something that works, like I said, to stick with it. There's no really reason to hop around here to have a gale and have a cat and have a case. Like, pick one brand, buy a bunch of those, call it good. It's just easier that way, in my opinion. But let me know what your opinion is. Let me know how many different makes and models, or how many different brands you have in your fleet. Um, you know, you build a good relationship with a dealer, that's huge. Then uh, they're you know they're super you're super familiar with them they take good care of you you take good care of them and it just works out in the long run so for pickups we only buy Chevys for skid loaders thus far we only buy Bobcats dealers close all around they're good I mean some people will say oh Bobcats are junk and you know some people will say oh cats are junk it's just a pain for the name it's not worth it so it all depends on who you ask for us Bobcats just work good they they perform good they're I mean they they all, they all have their issues don't get me wrong we definitely have issues with these things minor stuff like you know with the seat or you know like a hose here and there we you always have little problems no matter what you, you put a thousand hours a year on them regardless of the make or model of the machine you're gonna have issues with it so so just know that right off the bat but nah, so we're not yeah. sponsored by them we're not sponsored by anyone i've never signed a contract never signed anything you know promoting someone's product that's that's not what i'm about i don't make these videos to get sponsored or you know to try to make money off it i do them just for fun basically anytime I get excited about something I get asked a lot I make a video on it so that's kind of what this YouTube channel is all about super excited about this t770 we do a lot of we've been doing a lot of big boulder walls we needed a bigger unit to lift bigger boulders and lift higher load dump trucks easier we have a quad we, we renting a quad this year and so we're using that every single day so we need something that can load that a little better so basically it's brand loyalty we have a good dealers so we have a good dealer support 
these machines overall are just great. We have no major issues with them. There's no major flaws. They just work. They're comfortable. So overall, I don't see why we wouldn't stick with it. So that's all I got for you guys today in this video. If you if you use Bobcats, if you have experience, if you have in the field like real life experience with them, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of them. What you like. What you don't. Just thought I'd clear that up. Thanks for uh, thanks for all the support, guys. It's been good. I know I haven't been making video, as many videos as I could. I haven't been passing a lot of opportunities. I've just been super busy and staying a big priority, so I kind of just do it when I got time. Please drop me a comment below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I got like four or five videos coming down the pipeline I'm working on, so lots of job site videos to come, so stay tuned for those. So remember, in order to get results, no one else is getting, must be doing things no one else is doing. If you want to get extraordinary results, you got to do extraordinary things. You do ordinary things, you just get ordinary results. All right, I'm gonna get back to doing some extraordinary things, whatever that might be. I'll see you guys soon.